So by default, when you buy a Cisco switch, Spanning Tree is already working on the switch. And so what it means is that when you just connect the device, two devices, there should be one port which is blocking. We're going to demonstrate that um, just now. So we're going to take three switches. So switch one, maybe switch A, switch B, and switch C. And I'm going to connect these three switches. And so um, if you pay attention to it closely, you realize that, you see it's, it was red and it turned amber and it's going to turn green. The reason is this, because by default, the devices understand what we call spanning tree. So at this point, what they're doing is they're asking themselves question, hey, can we identify a loop within us? Can we check whether there's a loop? So that's what they're doing and that's why they are not green. What they're doing is they're asking questions, they're communicating using the spanning tree protocol. So you realize that some ports will come up before some ports and that's what we'll, we'll see very soon. See, some of them are turning green. This is turning green and the last one is not going to turn green, it's still amber. So clearly what it means is that this port on this device, so switch, let's, let's name the switches. So assuming this is switch A and this is switch B. And this is switch C. So we can see that on switch C, on port F0 slash 2, that port is blocked. So what it means is that, I'm going to illustrate that in, the, in our diagram again, but what it means is that no traffic can pass through this link on switch A through F0 slash 2 to switch C, F0 slash 2, because that port, that link is blocked. And the reason why it's blocked is that the device has detected a loop. It's been able to identify that um, this link is leading us to a place where we can still come back to this place again. And so we have to block it. So everybody will go through this device, which B. If I want to go to C from A, I have to go through B. If I want to go to A from um, C, I have to go through B. And so basically that's how spanning tree works.